Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this really like vampy, fall, festive kind of look. I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet, but by the time you guys are watching this, it'll already have a name so you guys can see that in the title down below. And before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm having a pretty bad skin day today and obviously a bad hair day. You guys, I forgot to brush my hair when I washed it last night. And so when I woke up, like my hair just went like that. So it's just kind of like another hot mess kind of a video, kind of a day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but today is Saturday. I don't have any plans today. Um, I'm just resting a lot because I'm kind of having a little bit of a bad pain day with my CFS and everything. But I did want to sit down and film a makeup tutorial for you guys because I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. Um, I'm not going to be really doing like a get ready with me update kind of thing or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I am doing for my makeup today. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I know that I want to do something very fall. I whipped out my trusty Morphe 35O palette. This is like the fall palette. So gorgeous. They just came out with another one too. I think it's called like the 3502 or something like that. Um, it looks beautiful, but this one, you guys, this is one of my favorite palettes of all time. So I'm going to go into that, maybe add some like copper glitter or I'm not sure. Actually, no, this isn't glitter. This is like a copper pigment from MAC. It's so gorgeous. Um, and yeah, so we'll just kind of see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by priming my face. And to prime, I'm filling in my pores with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just filling that in to where my pores are more prominent. And then I'm also going to moisturize my face with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This stuff is amazing, you guys. I get so many samples of this because um, my mom is a huge Clinique user. She loves their products. So they're always giving out like free samples and stuff. So I have like a huge stock of this stuff in my drawer, but it makes such a good primer too. It makes your foundation stick and it just adds a lot of moisture to the face. My skin is just kind of freaking out right now. Um, probably because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys see that I have been doing a Halloween makeup challenge this week. And actually I'm doing it for the full month, but I started it this week, so I've been doing makeup every single day on my face, and my face is not happy. Because you can tell I have some breakouts going on here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to cover that up. And for foundation, I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the shade Fair Sand. And I'm just going to dab that all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge. So I'll probably go ahead and speed up the footage for you guys here, because you all know how to blend out foundation already. <laughs> Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just gonna add a little bit under my eyes. I'm gonna try not to go too heavy because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can kind of cover up this breakout right here. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. And then to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Levitation, and I'm just gonna set where I put the concealer because I don't really feel like having a full, like, matte face today. I kinda want some of that moisture to set in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my under eyes and T-zone with that powder. So next I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and do them off camera because it usually takes a while. So I will be right back. You guys would not believe what just happened. I was halfway done with my eye makeup and I looked up at the camera and realized I wasn't even filming. So I had to take it all off and reapply some of my foundation. So I guess we're just gonna start over with the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys on in. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. 
And please ignore this blemish right here. I couldn't get it covered up for some reason. I'm telling you guys, my skin is just like screaming at me because of doing my makeup every day for that Halloween challenge. If you guys aren't following me yet on Instagram, go ahead and follow me because it's been a lot of fun doing this kind of makeup. I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone with it and it's been really awesome. Real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with this color right here. But yeah, last year I did a few Halloween looks and they turned out just like whatever, you know. I was still kind of like learning and practicing and filming with my little iPhone and that kind of thing. So this year I'm definitely trying to up the ante a little bit and I'm trying to get really creative with it. It's been a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't followed me yet, go ahead and follow me if you're into that sort of thing. If you like Halloween makeup, makeup challenges, then all that kind of stuff. I think you guys would really enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna use that for my transition. I'm just applying that to a fluffy brush and just applying that into my crease. I'm using that as my transition shade. I can already tell you my shadow isn't blending as good as it was the first time around because I had to use a makeup wipe. So even with like applying the foundation again. I can tell my shadow is definitely not blending as easily. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this kind of like burnt orange shade right here. And I'm going to take that on the same fluffy brush and just blend that into the crease, kind of right below where we put our transition shade. That way there's a nice gradient going on. Next, I'm going to take this more reddish orange right here. I'm going to blend it with this brownish red right here. And I'm just going to mix the two together and tuck that into the crease just to add a little bit more definition and, and dimension to the look. And that way those orange shades really pop. I'm trying to remember what I did next. <laughs> I think I took this deeper shade right here and I'm just going to add that to my brush and just kind of concentrate that on the outer third of my eye. That way, once again, it creates a little bit more shadow and definition to the look. Next, I'm going to go back in with that orange shade and I'm just going to kind of blend everything together just really softly. That way the colors kind of just fuse together. And then next, I am going to go in with this Copper Pigment by MAC. This stuff is seriously so pretty. So what I'm going to do is take, where are you? I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Primer, and I'm just going to place a little bit on my hand right here. I think this is going to help the pigment stick a little bit better to my eyelid. And I'm just going to take my finger and place this right here. Just kind of like in the empty spaces where on my lid where I want to place the pigment. You don't have to use a glitter primer or glitter glue. I just feel like it's going to stick a lot better. You can also use your finger. That's a really good way to press it in. But I just think that this is going to help with the look so much. It's going to make it really pop and it's going to help with fallout. Okay, so first I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray. This is also going to help with fallout and it's going to help the pigment stick to my eye and it's going to kind of create like that spoiled look, which is what I'm going for. So I'm just going to dip this in to the pigment. This stuff is seriously so pretty. So I'm just pressing that in really gently because I don't want a ton of fallout all over my face, obviously. And I am mostly putting that halfway down my lid. And when I get to this area right here, I'm just gonna kind of feather that in so there's a nice gradient. Seriously, I really wish that you guys can see how beautiful this is. I know you guys can see it on camera, but I think in real life it's even more like shimmery and bam in your face. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and work on the lower lash line a little bit. I'm going to go back in to the Morphe palette. I'm going to go ahead and take a really small definer brush and I'm going to take that deep brown shade right here and I'm just going to place that on my lower lash line 
as close as I can get to it. And then I'm going to take this smaller fluffy brush right here. I'm going to go back in with this orange shade and just add a little bit to my brush. And I'm just going to blend that underneath where the brown is. That way it's nice and blown out and that orange really pops. And then I'm going to go in with eyeliner. I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade West. This is just like a really deep dark brown and I'm going to place that in my waterline. Next I'm going to take a pencil brush and that deep dark brown shade right here and I'm just going to smudge underneath a little bit just to kind of smoke everything out. And then next I'm going to apply mascara and lashes off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, I got my lashes on. For mascara, I used my Benefit Roller Lash. For my bottom lashes, I used the Wet n Wild Mugga Length Mascara. And then lashes, I believe, I threw the little packaging away the other day because I've reused these a couple times. But the lashes are a brand called Andrea and they're from Ulta. They're literally only like three bucks or like four bucks, something like that. But they are so pretty they're like really natural and wispy which is something I really love in a fake lash because they're very comfortable and it feels like you're wearing nothing so I didn't add really any eyeliner or a wing or anything like that the only thing I did was take my eyeliner and go over the lash band that way it would hide some of the band and the glue and that kind of stuff because I didn't want to take away from the actual eye look so now we're gonna go into the face I'm gonna go back in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I think I'm going to take this lighter, cooler shade right here and a fluffy brush and just do some like slight contouring. I'm not going to get too crazy with it, but I'm just going to warm up the cheeks and add some definition. I'm also going to go back into that shade and contour my nose. And for a highlight today, I'm going to go in to this Ofra highlight in the shade Rodeo Drive. I thought this gold would look really pretty with the orange eye look. So I'm going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. highlighting brush and coat the crap out of it <laughs> and tap off the excess. Exce excess. I said that weird. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the high points of my face. This highlighter is seriously so pretty. It's one of my favorites. I'm also going to highlight a little bit down my nose and Cupid's bow and chin. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit up here to my forehead and the temples. And I'm also going to take a pencil brush and go into that highlight and I'm just going to add a little bit to the inner corners of my eyes and the brow bone. That way it kind of all ties together. And then next I'm going to go in to this blush. This is by Essence and this is in the shade Satin Love. For lips, we're going to go really bold and really vampy. So I'm going to take these two shades right here. This is by Wet n Wild. These are their liquid cat suit liquid lipsticks. And the first shade I'm going to go into is called Goth Topic. This one is really, really dark. So we are going to add this one, which is called Give Me Mocha, to the center. That way, there's a little bit of definition to the lips. And it'll kind of give that really pretty ombre effect. All right, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This look is super, super like fall, festive, whatever you want to call it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.